The CCNA certification is the first level on the Cisco certification journey. You can achieve Cisco Certified Network Associate certification either by passing two exams, the ICND1 and 2, or by taking one longer exam, the CCNA 640802. The CCNA 640802 exam covers topics related to modern networks, including TCP IP, LAN switching, IP routing and subnetting, Cisco router and switch command line interfaces, WANs, virtual LANs, and VLAN trunking. It also covers spanning tree protocols, RIP routing protocol, more advanced routing protocols like EIGRP and OSPF, and network address translation. The exam consists of 45 to 55 questions. These questions are multiple choice and drag and drop and also include hands-on sims, simlets, and testlets designed to test your practical knowledge. The passing score varies depending on the number and type of questions. You have an hour and a half to take the exam. Note that the test does not allow you to skip a question and go back later. The exam is available in several languages including English, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Russian, Korean, French, and Portuguese. In order to take the exam, you must first register with Pearson View, have personal identification such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Pearson View can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following topics to be more difficult portions of the exam. IP subnetting questions can be especially challenging. You must be skilled at interpreting the terminology surrounding subnetting, mastering the mathematics needed, both remembering which processes to use and knowing how to use them, and applying the IP addressing and routing concepts while working with the mathematics. Time pressures also make this exam challenging. First, you cannot skip questions and go back later. Thus, it's easy to waste time on topics where you're unsure of the answer. Second, the SIMs, SIMlets, and testlets are particularly time-consuming, taking anywhere from four to eight minutes. Thus, it's important to budget your time wisely. Spanning tree protocol tends to give people the most problems. In real life, most people have STP enabled, and it works, and there's no need to pay much attention to it, so it requires some deeper book learning. Access control lists can also pose a challenge, particularly when thinking through how to match various TCP and UDP port numbers, both source and destination. OSPF, a complex IP routing protocol, can cause some issues. Fortunately, most of the details of OSPF are not introduced until the CCNP certification, specifically the Route 642-902 exam. Finally, for those who are new to networking, Packets and flows can pose a challenge. It is important to be familiar with the details of frames, packets, segments, their headers, the flow of packets with end-user data, the related overhead processes, all the related terminology, and how it all interacts. In order to prepare for the exam, we recommend that you review the exam objectives found at the Cisco Learning Network. We also recommend that you practice on the CLI, buy used gear, Use emulators, use the simulator, rent or borrow gear, but plan to practice the configurations and spend time understanding the router and switch commands. The CertSkills.com website has some links to help you work through the topic of building a CCNA lab. It is also advisable to practice subnetting, especially with VLSM, until you can do it all, do it well, and do it fast. Finally, take advantage of the Cisco Learning Network. You can pose questions and often get multiple answers in just minutes. It's a hugely popular place for folks to collaborate on their path towards Cisco certification. For primary study, we recommend the CCNA 640802 Official Exam Certification Library by Wendell Odom. This library includes the official study guides, video instruction, and exam questions. We also recommend the CCNA 640802 Network Simulator for building your hands-on skills. You can also purchase the CCNA 640802 Official CERT Library Updated Simulator Edition, 3rd Edition, which includes the entire CCNA Library and the Network Simulator.
Additionally, many people find the CCNA flashcards and Pearson smartphone apps helpful for practice and hands-on experience. You may also find Pearson's subnet smartphone app useful for quick review. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our on certification channel in iTunes. Completing your CCNA opens up a much wider set of options. You may choose to go wide and pursue additional concentrations in security, voice, wireless, or service provider operations. Alternately, you may choose to go deeper into routing and switching and pursue the CCIP, which has a decidedly service provider bias, or the CCNP, which is more enterprise-oriented. Good luck!